Welcome to Amy Horn Photography. Today's lesson is product photography. So our goal today is to capture an image of a product with a white backdrop. This is commonly used in industry for creating cutouts for advertisements and it's really simple to do and I'm going to show you today with just one off-camera flash and some foam board. And then I'll show you a few other varieties as well if you want to get more gear. So my product photography setup is as follows. I've got my product, I've got my foam background, and I've got to have my off-camera flash. Since I have a transmitter for the off-camera flash, it's much easier to work with because I can change the settings on the camera and it will affect the flash output. Whenever I shoot with flash, I always use manual exposure. And for this particular setup, I've started off with 5.6 as an aperture and 1 60th of a second. Anything under 1 60th of a second, since I'm handheld, I risk camera shake. So I've just started off with my flash power at 1 32nd power. And let's give it a try. The image is not going to include the foam background. It will just include this part of the frame here. And let's make sure the flash goes off. There we go. So at 1 32nd power, I'm going to check my histogram. And it turns out I have a pretty good exposure. I've got a little bit of clipping in the background, which is okay because I do want to cut out. I don't want many shadows. So I can zoom in on my photo as well and just double check focus but otherwise I think I, I have it. If I needed to, I could adjust flash power or I can re, redo composition just a little bit. And by sliding the focusing rail closer to me, I can get a better angle now. Let's take a look at another option for great product photography, and that would be using a tent diffuser. So these can be purchased online. They're very simple to assemble, as you see, and they're just like your little car shade, window shade. Uh, they come with different colored backgrounds, and they come in different sizes. Uh, they work really nice, both indoors and outdoors, but if you use them outdoors, you wanna clamp them to a table. Otherwise, you might notice they'll fly away like a kite. Uh, but you can see in full day, full sun in the middle of the day, what great light this would provide because it's really nice, soft, diffused light. Today, we're going to use it indoors and just give um, our product photography a different twist and see how the difference is in this image. So I'm going to set the product into the tent. And I still have my flash set up and my camera settings the same as they were before. So this time, I'm just going to hold the flash up above and let the light diff, um, diffuse down in. My camera settings have not changed from before. They are still at um, 5.6, 1 25th, and I'm at 1 32nd power. So uh, as I look at my histogram, it actually seems right on. I've got some blinkies, but not too many. So I have great brightness in the whites, but I'm not I don't have too many shadows, so I'm pretty much good to go. But if I needed to make an adjustment, I could always change the power of the flash just by getting closer or further. I can also change the power of the flash on the flash itself. So I have many options when it comes to using a setup like this as well. And like I said, they come in multiple different sizes and um, great to use. They, they fold up very nice and small, so they're good for travel as well. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested in macro subjects, my uh, co-author and I, Bruce Topper, have published a book on macro photography. You can get it on Amazon or at my website, horndesigns.com. Thanks for watching.